What's up you guys, what's good? It's your girl Courtney B here and I'm back and the freaking AC is on. Your girl's on camera looking busted today as normal. I gotta start coming on camera actually looking like somebody because y'all gonna be thinking I'm ugly in real life and I promise y'all I'm cute. Hey, we gonna get this head together because I look a hot mess. But it's not gonna be this wig on my head, okay? A new wig that I just received from, let me get the bag. A new wig I just received from The Wig Dealer. Never worked with this company before, but they sent you girl a bunch of goodies. First, want to talk about this Derm bag, this packaging. The Derm Poly Mailer has, ma'am? Derm Poly Mailer has the Derm, do you, what has the Derm company name on it? Only people I've actually seen do this was probably Naked Wardrobe, J Lux Label, and, oh, uh, what's the last one? Pretty Little Thing. The wig, of course. Ooh, I'm loving this bag. I love small compact things like this because it just makes sense. And this is the wig. Oh, okay. Oh, sus. Oh, is she already bleached? I know you lied. I know you lied. I know you lied. And sus got an adjustable strap. Sus got the adjustable strap in the back, the detachable elastic band. Oh, besides four, sus only has two combs in the top and of course in the back. So that's a good thing. So that way it's not too much tension on the sides. Probably where the elastic band comes into play. Sus has bleached the knots. Do y'all not see that? So guess what? I'm not bleaching. This lace is giving me a little stretch, just a tad bit of stretch. And this lace is really, really thin. So I'm going to assume that this is HD lace, maybe? This is the 555 HD lace closure exotic curly in 20 inches. So yeah, I thought this was HD lace because it was too thin and too stretchy. 5x5, five five, and this is in the texture of the exotic wave. Ooh, this is going to be nice. And it says I have a melting spray and a sleek finish wax. Y'all just sending me everything. This is the wig dealer sleek finish wax stick. Sus got her own wax stick. I'm guessing I dig my hand into it because there's no twisty thingy. There's no pushy thingy. Okay, that may be a little rough, but I can dig it. Last thing we have is the melting spray. So baby girl won't be using no got to be glue blasting nothing. This is the wig dealer melting spray with humidity resistance and ultra hold. We're gonna have a wig review and a product testing today in one. Like what's popping? So I'm digging this already i ended up filling my sink with hot water and then i put in my conditioner as i always do um i do put the conditioner into the stream so that way the product distributes evenly into the water i make it suds with my hands and then i just let the wig sit in there for about uh i'd say the least time would be like 25 minutes but i let mine sit for like an hour because y'all know curly hair really needs to sit and be deep conditioned okay so i didn't play when it came to this conditioner and this hair since I assumed that the knots were already bleached, I just took the hair out of the water, let it dry overnight, and I applied it onto my head. Now, you guys see that I do use the elastic bands in the back, and I do adjust my straps, so I adjusted those as normal. But once I put the wig on my head, I saw that the knots were bleached, but they weren't as bleached towards the front of the hairline, and they weren't bleached enough for my particular skin tone. As y'all can see, the knots are still a little bit dark, so I had to take the wig off, bleach it for a little while, and then I came back ready to slay all over again. You're gonna see me wipe off my hairline with some 99% alcohol only because my forehead was really, really greasy. You want the area to be completely clean before you apply any adhesive. Now we're jumping into this spray, honey. Now, I was just testing this one area to see how it would melt in and baby girl, when I say I was shook, look at my face. I literally had to do like a double take, y'all. Like y'all don't even understand. So I sprayed some more onto different parts of my lace just to see if what I saw was really happening. And girl, as you can see, it was literally melting into my skin. Like, do y'all not see this? So the bottle actually does say to spray it onto your skin and then lay down your lace. But as y'all see, spraying it on top of your lace works just as good. But the back of the bottle also advises you to um, blow dry your hair a little bit on the cool setting and then tie down your frontal or your closure for at least 15 to 20 minutes. And that's exactly what I did. You guys know I love to use the elastic bands that come with the wicks to tie down my frontals and stuff because that gives me the best melt because it's very compressive and it's tight and make sure that you push every piece of lace into that skin. Now here I'm just trying to find the hair the best way I can. Um, I'm using just water right now. 
eventually you'll see me incorporate a pink spray bottle and in that spray bottle i have the same conditioner that i use to deep condition the hair and some water um one fourth conditioner and three fourth water so yeah that's the mixture now i have to admit this hair was a little bit dry after washing it so i did go ahead and apply the argan oil um cantu leave-in conditioner just a little bit towards my ends and all throughout the hair and that helped the hair a whole lot my hair is completely moisturized now with the two um, products the conditioner and the spray bottle and the cantu leave-in conditioner so i highly recommend you guys using those products if you are considering styling this hair with a product if not you can definitely style this hair with it being just water and your brush but i definitely recommend you guys styling this hair with some type of moisturizing curling product but make sure that the product is very light now on to this brush this brush is trash don't pay attention to this brush okay this brush is not going to define anything much of anything it's trash um this is just all i could find at the moment my other brush there's some dollar tree my good dollar tree paddle brush was lost at the moment so this is all i had um and yeah, that's just all I had. <laughs> when it came to applying my leave-in conditioner, I paid close attention to my ends and gave them the most TLC because that's where you want your most curl definition at and that is your ends, honey. That's the first thing us girls look at when you have on a brand new deep curly or brand new Malaysian curly wig. We wanna see those ends popping. So here you guys see me scrunching up the hair, um, making sure they're all in place, girl. And now we're gonna work on this lace. I went for a middle part. You guys know I love a good bang down the middle. So beyond this part of the video is pretty much self-explanatory. I do the same thing every single time. So I'm gonna hush, let you guys continue to watch me finesse and install the rest of this hair and style this hair. And I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the music and I'll come back when it's time for me to open my big mouth again. We are back for this review. This has to be the best spray for your wigs, no cap. Let me explain why. The hair is popping too. This spray, this right here, I don't know what she may have put in this. I wanna first start off by saying, I wanna first start off by saying, I took two hot and steamy showers with this unit on directly after spraying this down. Cause it says on the bottom that it's humidity resistant. When I say I feel so freaking secure, this spray is a 10 out of 10. Even if nothing I'm saying about this hair is sticking with you today, even if you're not interested in this hair, if you wear wigs 
if you are really wig life as far as like wearing your wig for like more than a day this is probably gonna be your best bet okay when y'all saw me define this hair that brush that i was using was absolute garbage okay i don't recommend that brush and i couldn't find my good dollar tree paddle brush because i'm just junky like that i don't even know where it was ended up finding it this morning and that's how i define these curls that you're seeing right now this side is completely dry this is how it's gonna look all right curls and everything um and this side is like I want to say 70% dry. This curl pattern is amazing, but you will have to deep condition your hair because the hair is a tad bit dry. Curly hair is naturally dry. Curly hair is naturally tangly, naturally sheds because it's curly hair. You feel me? Gotta do a little bit extra to it to make it, you know, be a little something something. That's what I had to do. I also recommend 101% for you guys to use product when you are styling this hair. This hair loves product, okay? Even if you're not using leave-in conditioner, some type of lightweight, I say again, some type of lightweight curling cream is best for this hair, okay? This hair does define on its own, but since this hair is virgin, be more of an, a less tame look, okay? You are gonna have to deep condition your hair. I do not recommend you guys wear this hair straight out of the pack. You guys possibly can, but this is just for any curly hair in general, or even for straight hair to me. I think that you should always at least deep condition your hair, so that way you can kind of wake the hair up, give it a little bit more life, and just give it a fresh start. You know what I'm saying? That definitely did help with some of the dryness. And also, when I was styling, I did use my leave-in conditioner as well as my conditioner in my spray bottle with my water so baby girl is nice and moisturized now so this is good i did give myself some kind of layering which is as you can see this side is a lot bigger than this side this side is still a little damp i did cut it some just to give like a little a little bit more personality to the look this wig is a true 20 inches most times when you do get a wig the longest length is 20 inches but you're not really getting your full 20 inches of hair that you pay that you're paying for so say you make it 20 inches of hair especially when it comes to straight hair you're getting 20 inches of hair but then you see you have hair up stopping up here, hair stopping up here, so you don't have like a full 20 inch. Baby girl with this curly hair, she gave you a full 20 inch, which is a good thing, but also when it comes to styling, it is kind of kind of stacked. So that is why I went in and cut some layering to kind of frame the hair a little bit, which is not an issue at all. Some people like that all one hair look. I just didn't like how it framed my face, so that's why I went in and tailored it to my own liking. This lace was very stretchy. Lace was easy to lay down. Y'all saw with the unboxing that the wig does come with detachable band that probably would have made the wig even more snug but baby girl would just as the lace being stretchy and with me adjusting my straps in the back without the elastic band this wig was already stuck to my head before i even put down the spray i could shake my head it was not going nowhere i had to struggle to pull the lace forward to try to place it down where i wanted to lay i don't feel the cone pressing down on my head which is great most times you do get a wig you have four cones one on each side and then one in the front and one in the back. This week they only gave you two. One back here and then one in the back of your neck, which is great because most of the time when you have tension, they come from right here. And that's never good. That causes friction on your edges, causes friction on your hairline, and that just ultimately causes the loss of edges, okay? We wanna keep our edges. Save the edges. I am in love with this unit and especially in love with this spray. You did your thing with this girl, so kudos to you. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. And of course, drop the beehive down below. Join the beehive gang, the beehive family, because we are lit and we are never, ever bougie over here. Do you understand me? Then we keep in contact with the girl because I'm your best friend. You're my best friend. We're all best friends. So add your girl on Instagram. I mean, what? And as always, I love every single one of you. But until next time, my lovelies, your crown may tilt, but you never let it fall. Stay healed.